When was the first moment you knew I loved you? The first moment I knew that you loved me. Hmm. I think I said I love you to you pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was that Miami trip about a month before I had asked you to be my girlfriend and you took a month to answer. Mm -hmm. I think when you said yes to be my girlfriend, I mm -hmm. think you loved me then. I feel like... Um, I, I mean, should. I feel like I loved you immediately from, like from our you first conversation. We're pretty much first on all the things. I just literally found you first, but yeah. you, you're always quite forward, even just like asking me my girlfriend, moving to Atlanta, everything. I'm like, oh my God, I need a second to process. But it's, I've always like, the answer was always like immediately, yes. I so just mm -hmm. like, let me pause and like think about what's even going on. But it was clear, like, you know, I feel like it was clear. That's okay. When do you feel closest to me? Hmm. Um, I have a particular moment that like I cried because it, made us feel so close, mm. like a general moment. And um, it was when you, it was on your mom's birthday mm. and you did the memorial for her and you let me participate. Um, that made me feel really close to you because um, um, obviously your mom passed and um, we were in a situation where um, you had to go to Korea. I couldn't really mourn with you. And that was- um, Yeah, that was tough. It was obviously it's hard for you. It's your situation, but it was it was really hard for me to not be there for you. Yeah. And um, so, um, when you when you did that memorial for your mom and you kind of like allowed me to like bow and participate, it like just I don't know. It like really warmed my heart and it made me feel really close. And I appreciated it a lot. I don't think I ever said that to you. Mm. Yeah. Of course, honey. <sighs> What do you think is one thing I really want you to understand about me? Mm. I think lately I've found you sort of trying to express a little bit more, you know, like we've been together for three years and we're mm -hmm. both like adults now, allegedly. Mm -hmm. um, but I think sort of learning parts about our past and where we come from and our experiences that have shaped like who and why we are the way we are now mm -hmm. and sort of trying to maybe unlearn some of those things or, or to build um, better habits. Because I think I can be quite impatient um, and maybe on your ass a little bit about some things sometimes. But, you know, you check me in those moments and you remind me, like, you don't know the journey that I've had. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're all, you know, making progress and growing and healing and all that. So I think. Yeah, I think that's spot on for me. Uh, what I want you to understand about me, I think, yeah, I think context just helps. Obviously, we have little things that frustrate us about one another or if we're in a moment and I shut down or I think, yeah, I um, maybe behave a certain way in a tense moment. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, yeah, no, I really appreciate that you have made that effort to, you know, think about that in those times. My turn. Mm -hmm. How do our different upbringings affect our relationship? Um, <laughs> yeah, we're raised very different. Um, I grew up here in the South. Um, I come from a mixed family. It's just, it doesn't sound anything like your upbringing, like mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. Um, you had a very like rigid academic upbringing. Uh, you went to boarding school, you uh, are just culturally completely different from me. Yeah. Um, I think all of it affects our relationship, like just the way we eat, the way we act, you know. Definitely. I think even, um, I think, I don't know. I mean, I think just being 
you know, I'm Korean and just, it's not very accepted in Korean culture, you know, being queer. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so. And just kind of wanting family support and family involvement mm -hmm. and really coming to a tough reckoning these past couple years with with family and the realities of that, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah, we didn't have the same experience, I guess, with our families in that regard. Mm -hmm. um, and that does affect our relationship because we have a relationship with my family and right. we don't exactly have one with yours. Right. So, um, it's I tough. think one day. Yeah, we'll know. see. I think. <laughs> In my heart, I feel like, yes, you know, but I also don't know them, so. Yeah. I mean, I don't even, it's not even, like, a thing that I'm like, oh, it's my mom and dad. I'm like, it's the culture, mm -hmm. you know. I can't really blame them from their upbringing and what they know, and I don't know. I mean, maybe that's just me shrinking myself and, and saying, like, I shouldn't really expect much more, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. But from what I've witnessed from just Korean culture norms, maybe even like here in America too and like other communities, um, just kind of like not talking about things, um, mm -hmm. not having the hard conversations, not asking the right questions. Yeah, I think that's definitely something that differs in our upbringings. Not that my family was the most communicative, but there are a lot of things out on the table that I feel like perhaps like you guys won't talk about like your family Definitely. drama or anything right. or just like um, the communication is not the same, which yeah. is so funny because you're the better communicator out of all this, but I don't know, whatever. <laughs> well, I, I just think it's so much of like, I, I'm, I see what that has done to my family mm. and I refuse to be a part of that. I, I don't want that for myself, yeah, you that know? That makes sense, yeah. Um, yeah. What's a pain in me you wish you could heal? Mm. <laughs> mm. Hey. I think the... Like how, how much I love you, I want you to love yourself that much. Um, mm -hmm. It really hurts me when you know, you don't feel like you're worthy. Because you're the best. Thank you. You're the best. Um, you're so generous, you know. You're so kind. You're so easy to love. So, yeah. Um, whoever didn't make you feel like that, <laughs> that's how I feel. <laughs> Thanks, honey. What Thank about you. what about you, baby? Um, I uh, I know there's a lot of pain. Um. Uh, that comes from, you know, unresolved conversations with your parents. Oh, it's cool. That's it's definitely cool. a pause. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I didn't want to cry anyway. I know. I need some tissue. <laughs> Do you want some of this? No. It's okay. I've just yeah. been soaking, soaking my pants with my hand sweat. Okay. Um... I would say a pain that I wish I could heal in you. Um, I really wish that um, you were able to have the conversation that I know you wanted to have with your mom. Um, I know uh, the focus was, you know, on her health and trying to make her as comfortable as possible in, in the end of her time. Yeah. Um, but I know it was eating you up, not being able to like 
say the things you wanted to say or have an open conversation and give your parents the opportunity to like fully embrace you. Um, and uh, I just, I wish I could take some of that away from you. I know um, the opportunity is no longer there with your mom, but I think um, because she's in a better place, she can see you as a person, you know, more completely. And I think she's fully doing that, you know, from wherever she is. I think she's super proud of you. I think she loves you. I think she accepts you. I, you know, I, I think she's super proud of you. And I think in time, your dad will do the same. I, I didn't have the same experience with my parents. Um, and it, it just really hurts me um, to know that you didn't get the same thing. I don't know. No one deserves that pain. I, I don't even want to shoulder it. You just shouldn't even have it, you know? I just wish, like, you know, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't feel like they're not proud of me and I don't feel yeah. like they don't love me. It's not like yeah. that. It's just a matter of like, I wish that they had the capacity, you know, mm. the mm -hmm. tools to really see me. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, maybe some of it is I didn't, I didn't really give them that chance also just because mm -hmm. like, I'm not trying to get hurt, That's you scary. know, yeah. but literally, yeah. I don't know. It's, uh, I know in an alternate universe that I would have had that. Yeah. You know, it's not a lack of love. It's just mm -hmm. limitations Definitely on. Definitely not a lack of love. Cause limitations they, on. Yeah. That's clear. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think I need from you and are you providing it? Um, I think what you need from me, um, I think we've kind of already. Yeah, we talk about this all the time. I feel like we talk about it, yeah. Um, I think, you know, I'm, I'm so scatterbrained and just like all over the place. Um, I think maybe like some order. <laughs> For me, um, or just like, I guess just more, I think um, you for certain are the more responsible of us. Not that I try to shoulder them all off to you. I think I just, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. I'll forget a thing or like you're just a better planner or mm -hmm. like we need to leave it here or you already have the address plugged into Google Maps or for on the calendar mm -hmm. and all the things. I think you would appreciate it if I did a little bit more of that as well. Um, I mean, I'm happy to do those things. I, yeah. we're different people, Yeah. you know, we have different strengths and that's what I always tell you. Don't feel bad to lean on me because I lean on you a lot. Um, I think the thing that I need from you and I think the thing that you need from me is for us to take care of ourselves better. A reminder to love on ourselves. You know somewhere. what I mean? Yeah. Because it's like, mm -hmm. it's hard to show up for someone else when... Mm -hmm. Our cup is empty. Yeah, I can't pour anything into your cup. I don't have anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, just better, I guess, self love and care for each of us. Yeah, it's a work and in that progress. That helps each other. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I agree mm -hmm. with that. <sighs> what do I need to hear from you? What do you need to hear from me? What do you need to hear from me? Mm. Maybe that we're gonna be okay. Mm. That, yeah, no matter what, you know, um, and that I love you always and Yeah, baby, I'm always thinking about you. Thank you. You know? I feel the same. Um, I'm interested to posit the question as, um, mm. what do you need to hear from me? Mm. 
what do I need to hear from you? I think maybe, and maybe this probably goes for the both of us, mm -hmm. the things that we're kind of scared to say, mm -hmm. maybe, I think like, I really want both of us to work on giving the love that we have for each other to ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. um, I think that's what we're... I think we're very good at pouring a yeah. lot of ourselves into each other. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we're both like empathetic people and mm -hmm. we're both very good at like thinking about how the other person feels. And yeah, I just want you to know that you're hot shit. The way everyone else sees you, I want you to know that from within Thanks. yourself, you know, like without people having to tell you. I want you to wake up and feel that and know that. Um, yeah. And I think that we, we're our biggest obstacles for ourselves. We're the biggest thing um, holding, our, holding each other back, mm -hmm. holding, holding ourselves back, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so just sort of leaning into that self-love and just kind of growing that. I feel that. How are we overcoming our fears together? Mm, we are. How are we overcoming our fears together? Um, by, you know, revealing those deep, dark, ugly truths like you know, we recently experienced, I think, um, actively working on healing, you know, um, I think uh, a lot of our fears are just about what lies ahead in life. And I think we're just like, I think we've come to a place in our relationship where we're like, okay, yeah, like really starting to put our heads down and look forward and see how those things can be done and just like talking aloud about it, like just sharing mm -hmm. with each other, I feel like calms our nerves, makes us less scared. I think also, you know, we are kind of like anxious with all like the unknown and uncertainty of the mm -hmm. future and like, you know, it's very scary, but I feel like you've been my rock You've been my sure thing. You've been like the one thing that I'm not, you know, like what mm. is two months now, from now gonna look like? Be like what the hell is life right now? You know what it's I mean? Like, yeah, but I know you're there for sure, yeah. So that's nice and grounding, you know. Yeah, you've been my rock, so. Same. I love you so much. And I love you too, You baby. really are the best. Uh, you're the best. I thank God for you every day. Thank you, likewise, I really, yeah. I love you so much. I guess that's it, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. Hey there, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the conversation and want to ask these questions to your own partner, check out the And Couples Edition card game at theskindeep.com slash shop.